Welcome back, Vault Dwellers, to Fallout 4 Mod Shop, and in this episode, I'm reviewing Alternate Death, Craftable New U Stations by DD Productions 83. So the time has finally arrived. We have an Alternate Death mod, and a law friendly one at that, so let's go ahead and break all this down. The New U Stations themselves can be found within the Defense and Guard Stations category of the Workshop menu, and once you place one of these down, this will serve as your new respawn or regeneration point. The mod is also fully voiced, which means once you place a station within a settlement, you'll get a nice little standard greeting message in perfect Vault-Tec style. You can build as many of these new U stations as you want, but you can only have one station activated at one time, which you must manually do by selecting a station and submitting your DNA profile after you craft one. Welcome to the new U station. Please wait one moment while we initialize your DNA sequence. DNA confirmed. Congratulations on your own personal new use station. In the event of accidental death or dismemberment, this station will destruct an entirely new body to replace your old one. And we even get the option to disable and re-enable the new use stations, which means you'll die like you normally would, as if you didn't have the mod installed. And I think this is a perfect little option to have in there, because for some reason if you want to turn this off, you can, and you wouldn't have to technically remove the mod, which is very time saving and uh, quite convenient. Alright, so how do they work exactly? Well, in the standard game mode, once you meet your demise, you'll be recreated within your designated new U station, and you'll retain all of your gear and supplies. But Vault Tech don't provide this service for free, so you'll be charged 10% of your total cap wealth upon recreation. So it might be a good idea to store some of those caps in your safe if you want to be stingy like me. Your previous body will still remain within the world at the point of death as well. So it kind of serves no purpose to be there, and it has no supplies or clothing on it, but it's a nice, law friendly explanation. Your body just doesn't disappear, it's always going to be there. Although in survival mode, the mod works slightly different. Now once you die, you will still be charged a 10% fee, but you spawn without any of your loot or your gear. So this means that you'll have to go down and track your old corpse to regain all of your loot and equipment that was on the body when you died. And this is just another reason I recommend using a personal safe as a cap or equipment bank for those items that you just can't bear to lose. So once you're recreated in survival mode, you'll be given a standard Vault 111 jumpsuit, a small amount of medical supplies, and a pistol with a box of bullets. These are some basic supplies that Vault Tech have generously given to you to help you find your old corpse and its loot, and again, law-wise, I pretty much like it. Finally, survival mode applies a debuff to your character that will progressively get worse the more times you die. Each time you get slaughtered, you'll receive a 0.5% reduction in damage output, which means like I mentioned, it stacks upon each death, up to a max of 25% or 50 deaths. And I personally think this is a great addition because it is survival mode and we do need some consequences here. So all in all, that debuff, as well as the need to find your old body to regain any loot or gear, it's a perfect way to balance this for survival mode in my opinion, and even the standard game itself, as I would rather die and be charged for it, rather than the game auto-loading my last save. As, like I said, this adds consequences to death, and it just feels more in-universe. This means, in my conclusion, I believe this is a must-have mod. It creates an in-game, lore-style way to deal with your deaths, and as I mentioned before, it comes with some consequences, which I absolutely love, and the voice acting is completely perfect. It just works with it so well. So, as always, don't forget to endorse the mod if you like it, rate this review, comment down below to tell me what you think about the mod, and subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Skyrim mod content. I've been Vault Boy Steve, and I'll see you all next time.